Alrighty. Alright. So, easy does it. Six thousand four hundred and nine big ones. That's right. For the year of 2015, I have officially ran and tracked on the GPS 6,409 miles. Yes. Vegan for the win. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. So I ran every day once again without a single day off other than on my off days, I always run a mile or two for this whole year. And that is three years in a row. I have fulfilled a New Year's revolution of running every freaking day. So my New Year's resolution last year was to run every day once again for that year because I haven't thought of a good one. But last year I ran 5,000, just over 5,000 miles. And I said for the year of 2015, if anybody follows my videos, that I was going to break 6,000 miles and I ran 6,409 miles for this year. That's a lot of miles. Uh, I would say this year was a great year. I placed third in the Collegiate National Championship chip in the 5k fifth in the 10k and fifth in the 10k so a double for the nationals uh i got one two three four all american awards uh had some great time in italy <laughs> uh trained like a beast and this fall's weather has just been great i ran a really bad half marathon though earlier September, but whatever it happened, that was October. It happens. Uh, had some bad races, but I had a lot of good races every month. Over five hundred miles, six hundred and sixty miles for the month of June. That was a big one. Knocking out them thirty mile days. Five ninety in July over mountains. Uh, August, I destroyed myself and I couldn't run right at the end of that month. September, building back up a little less. Uh, 621 in the month of October. You got your 40 mile days here. Jeez. Getting over 170s that week. I haven't, though for this year, I haven't reached uh, around 200 miles a week. I've cut back a little bit on miles and my paces have been a bit quicker. Uh, ending some of my runs around low six minute pace. I average seven, 730 pace as opposed to eight minute pace, which is a great sign that my body is adapting to running super mileage. And I think running at a moderate pace to include all your muscles and your legs is very important when you're doing an easy run. There's really no point of running 11 minute miles, guys. It's If you're doing that, you're running way too many miles. you got to cut back. I know it's a lot of ultra marathon runners want to run 250 mile weeks, but they can't handle it because they can barely run 8 minute pace. You know, you have to be working other systems to be able to run fast. If you want to run a fast 100 miles, I'm talking about 12, 13, 14 hours, you know, you're going to have to be doing most of your runs at 7.30 to 8 minute pace. You guarantee it. I haven't ran an ultra yet, but when I open up my first 100 miler, it's going to be a good one. So I will wait. But I have a marathon in a couple of days, Jacksonville, Florida. And that's a lot. 600, 409 big ones. And, of course, no injuries, no setbacks. You got to eat healthy. And speaking about eating, boom, let's end this video on a uh, nice recipe over here. So we got some wild rice bought at Whole Foods. It cost about less than two bucks for all this rice. It was really cheap, less, like a buck. Got some onions. I ground up a little turmeric root over here. Got some kale. Put a little greens on that. A little bit of hot sauce, Tabasco sauce, spice it up. And of course we got, you know, a little bit of a, you know, my favorite olive oil over here. And, you know, top it off, you squeeze a little lemon on that. It's a good recipe. You, you guys are going to dig this, you know, you're going to love that. And over here, of course, we got the green juice. We're going to flush out whatever, uh, um, any impurities in my body before my next marathon. Of course, this is like a weekly thing. I just like once a week. I think it's fine. Especially before big races, after big workouts. 
stuff, you know, keep the flow moving. Um, so if you want to run 6,000 miles in a year, you want consistency. So you're going to have to treat your body right. You're going to have to eat right to have that consistency. Keep the power going. Of course, you got a little coconut here. Coconut has a good amount of uh, more saturated fats. It's the only uh, thing I ha actually could eat that actually has saturated fat. And you do need some saturated fat in your body. It's more like a really powerful uh, nutrient-dense thing than monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats. But you do need some saturated fat. Coconut is great. A raw choice, yes. Unless you want to eat raw, st raw meat, raw bacon. That just sounds disgusting if you want to get raw saturated fat. But... Best way, obviously, is from fruit because you won't poison yourself. So there you go. Give this a go. Give this a like. Boom. Never stop running. Always inspiring. Always hungry. El Coyote Loco. Happy New Year. 2016.